YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. The gate's trucking. Sitting there, sitting in uh, a uh, place that requires the yellow vests. All right, just want to give you an update on the maiden voyage. Since the truck's gotten out of the shop, it's been so far without a hitch. Without a hitch. I'm in Arkansas, going to Atlanta to drop on tomorrow morning at 8 30. And one Tuesday morning at 4 30 a.m. I'm in the middle of the aisle. I'm going to move my truck back. All is well. I'm not going to drive far today. I just got back. I'm doing a split. Just got back about six hours. Waiting for the uh, trailer to do a free trip. Then I'm going to go to the guard booth, start to my paperwork, and get on down the road. I've only got 600 miles, a little less than 600 miles to go to the 01 or the 02, I should say. Again, this is two drops, which I'm not really fond of, but the pain really good. And, uh, yeah, the truck has been phenomenal. So let's just keep my fingers crossed that this continues, uh, that they fix the issue at hand, and uh, I can just keep making revenue. So, again, I've got 600. I'm going to do probably like 300 today, shut down, and drive the rest in tonight because I can't do it all in one shot. And I still had another three hours before my clock, my 14-hour uh, clock came back. 11 hour clock came back and there's no point on me doing the uh waiting for my clock to get back and waste three hours when i can get down the road all right i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right i'm back i'm back i'm back sitting here at a road runner or what is it called road ranger excuse me road runner i'm at a road runner or road ranger in arkansas right off of 40. um so i left the plant this morning got about an hour and a half i'm kind of tight for time I didn't get a complete uh, break in. I did my uh, A2 split. And um, I needed a fresh 10 hour. So according to my calculations, I'm 460 miles out from the 90. I should be leaving here about 11.30. And that puts me into Atlanta, Georgia, roughly about 7.30 or at the 90, because I, I gotta go, the, the 90's in Atlanta, Georgia. Fairburn to be exact. Um, but again, the truck's running phenomenal. So far, knock on wood. I just want to appreciate everybody who watches my videos. And from what I understand, my buddy Scott's granddaughter who watches me, who's become a big fan, her name is Reagan. So shout out to you, Reagan. Hello. Thanks for watching. Um, things are going really well. Like I said, the revenue on this load is absolutely phenomenal. I couldn't ask for it better. The only thing I don't like is the two stop drop, but hey, we got to take what we get sometimes and keep moving forward. But this time, this, this load is really tight for time. And uh, every minute count counts on this load. But have no fear, Big H is here. We will get through. Uh, it's absolutely a beautiful day here. It's 51 degrees. It is very windy. It's supposed to drop down to the 20s tonight. Um, so my plan is to get through Memphis, 55 get on to 22, go through Birmingham, Alabama, go up to 20, up to the 85, and hit a home run and get it off on time. With that being said, folks, I'm going to hit the sack. Like I said, I'm going to leave at 11.30 p.m., and that is, that is actually, now I think about it, I'm still in Central Time. What time is it? I've got to leave here. I've got to leave here at 12.30. I gotta leave here at 12.30 because I'm gonna change into time zones as soon as I get into uh, Atlanta. So I'll leave here, which is gonna be 11.30 um, Eastern Standard Time at 12.30 West Coast Time, uh, Central Time. So you gotta be cognizant of that, folks, especially when you're running tight loads. <clears throat> if you're gonna go, um, transition into a the Eastern time, Standard Time Zone, not to get fooled that um, this way you won't be late, all right? So check your clocks or, or advice, a little advice to you. And uh, I am absolutely tired. I got two and a half hours of sleep last night, could not sleep, tossed and turned, because I was panicking about the time on this load. 
I don't like being late. If I commit to a load, I want to make sure that it gets there on time. So with that being said, I'm going to shut up. Oh, by the way, I fixed two mud flaps. Again, shout out to Scott for reminding me to use, because um, the bolts are seized and it, you know nothing is open today. So I use my X-Acto knife to kind of create a little hole in the mud flap and use my uh, tie wraps to adhere to it because they were both sides were dangling in the wind. So shout out to the prime drivers who've had this trailer and did nothing about it for God knows how long. Way to take care of the equipment, folks. Come on, pay attention, get it fixed. So I took care of that. Again, thanks to my buddy Scott. And that's it. So with that being said, stay safe, make good decisions, and remember, get out and check your equipment if you're not sure where you are. Everybody have a great day.